If you're looking for the best brake caliper grease here is a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Mission Automotive Dielectric Grease. This long-lasting, synthetic grease from Mission Automotive is designed to lubricate and protect brake caliper pins, O-rings, rubber gaskets, and steering bushings. It offers consistent performance at temperatures ranging from minus 55 to 570 degrees Fahrenheit. It also includes silicone compounds in its formulation to aid with lubrication and to prevent oxidation. The silicone base gives this grease more versatility in that it can also be used for electrical and marine applications. It's safe on metal, rubber, and plastics. This silicone paste also works as a sealant, which keeps out moisture and other contaminants such as salt and dirt from corroding the metal. A small but important feature is the applicator brush that's attached in the lid to ensure that you never lose it. Unfortunately, the attached brush is one of its weakest links. The bristles can come loose easily and it can be challenging to pick them out from the container since the paste is thick. Also, if you aren't a fan of using a bent brush, then you should consider buying a straight brush beforehand. The number two position is held by Permatex Ultra Disc Brake Caliper Loop. For anyone who doesn't want to buy brake caliper grease in bulk, our best value option, the Permatex Disc Brake Caliper Lube, may be a great pick for you. It's a green, synthetic grease that comes in a 0.5 ounce tube. The fluid is formulated to maintain the lubrication of the caliper pins and slides. This product is designed to be non-melting, meaning that it will last through adverse braking conditions and promote the longevity of your brake calipers. It also maintains a consistent viscosity even under extreme heat or cold conditions. This means that you may not have to worry about regreasing your calipers as often as you regularly would. While it's a great product, 0.5 ounces is only enough to cover one brake caliper. Also, it's not safe on rubber, and, therefore, you should only apply it on the metal parts. In addition, it's not the best for dampening brake noise. Moving on to the next and number three with CRC Brake Caliper Synthetic Grease. This brake and caliper grease is a synthetic formula that contains molybdenum, teflon, and graphite. These additives help to boost its temperature tolerance to a range of minus 40 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's tailored to lubricate metal to metal sliding points and effectively seals out dirt particles that could potentially corrode the brake pads. This product is suitable for any brake job owing to the fact that it's plastic and rubber safe. It also repels moisture and, therefore, won't wash out easily. This makes it suitable for marine applications. However, we are disappointed that it can be a bit challenging to squeeze the grease out of the stiff container. It gets worse in cooler weather when the fluid thickens. Not only that, but it also thickens with time after being applied on the brake pads which can cause them to wear out unevenly. The number four position is dominated by Versashim 26,080 Synthetic Caliper Grease. The Versashim 26,080 is a great grease for anyone looking to dampen brake noise and prolong brake life. It's formulated with pure synthetic oils and has additives to prevent rust, corrosion, and oxidation. It also includes a sear stable thickener that helps to improve its high temperature tolerance to provide maximum protection to the applied surface. The grease comes in an 8-ounce bottle with a convenient brush applicator on the lid. It has a working temperature of minus 5 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The grease lasts longer on a disc brake caliper, but it can also be used on spark plug boots, battery terminals, valves, and bushings. Naturally, this grease has a few drawbacks, too. For one, on a low operating temperature in comparison to other synthetic greases, and, as a result, has a tendency to run hot. It can also get too gummy in the brake system and may need to be washed out to prevent more dust from sticking on the brake pads. The number five position is held by Permatex Ceramic Extreme Brake Parts Lubricant. Synthetic fluids typically outperform traditional caliper greases. The Permatex Ceramic is no exception. The formula is 100% synthetic and is tailored for use on the caliper pins, caliper assembly, and the back of brake pads to promote noise-free braking. It can also be used to lubricate bushings pistons, and seals. This product is resistant to corrosion and provides reliable lubrication at a temperature range of minus 54 to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It will also help to seal out dirt and other contaminants that often cause the squealing noise from the brake pads. The price is the most significant downside of this product. 
Seeing that a six pack is more than $100 when you can get other synthetic options under $60. On top of that, a single eight ounce container may not be enough to cover all four brake calipers. Another issue is that its efficiency is reduced significantly under extreme cold conditions. Next at number six, we have Napasil Glide Silicone Lubricating Compound. This is a caster-based lubricant that's designed to stay put despite being exposed to freezing temperatures, heat, or water. It has a working temperature of minus 20 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It's designed to protect rubber from weather stripping and to reduce friction between rubber to metal contact points to prevent squeaks. It also seals metal components to keep out water and prevent oxidation. It's safe on metal, rubber, wood, and glass. It can be used on brake pads, trunk seals, bumpers, and V-belts. Its water repellent capabilities makes it a good lubricant for marine applications. While it has some great qualities, it only offers a temporary fix to restoring the elasticity of shrunken rubber the squeaks may only go away for a few weeks. It's also not as slippery as silicon-based greases and isn't recommended for off-road applications. At the seventh position of our list, we have Rebestos Brake Lube. Raybestos offers a high-performance brake lubricant that's designed to maintain optimal performance during extreme braking conditions. It's a silicon-based formula that's infused with Teflon to reduce its toxicity and improve the shelf life. It's designed to prevent premature brake wear and to reduce brake noise. This grease is quite viscous and is best used to lubricate the caliper sliding pins and the caliper bracket that's attached to the brake pads. You can use it on other parts of your brake system that need lubrication without fear of contaminating the brake fluid or damaging the rubber on the brake pads. However, there are a few things that the Raybestos lube misses out on. One is that it can get really stiff in cold weather, especially when the temperature goes below minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Plus, you have to use a brush to scoop the lube out of the container, and it can be quite challenging to get the broken brush bristles out of the thick fluid. The number 8 position is held by Permatex Ceramic Extreme Brake Parts Lubricant. Ceramic Extreme Brake Parts Lubricant from Permatex is designed to work over a massively wide range of temperatures, wider than your brakes will likely ever see. But that's the point, because you don't want to be on the edge of lubricant failure on hot or cold days. Permatex says that it will keep your bolts and sliders lubricated from as cold as 50 degrees to as hot as 3000 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than any automotive braking system should ever get. It's a 100% synthetic formula that contains ceramic solids to help make it the company's longest-lasting brake lubricant. Let it resist that wider temperature range and to silence brake noise. It resists corrosion of your braking components and will not wash out over time. The large bottle comes with a convenient applicator brush, making it easier for you to cleanly apply the lubricant to each part of your braking system that needs it, while the product is purple so you can easily see where you've applied it. Next at number 9, we have Agus SIL Glide Brake Lubricant. SIL Glide Brake Lubricant is safe for your entire braking system. Safe for the pad faces, never lubricate those no matter what you use. It's compatible with the metal surfaces to prevent wear, corrosion, and brake squeal and it's also safe for the eptum and nitrile rubber surfaces as well as the plastics that make up the important seals and boots in your brake caliper system. This brake lubricant is moisture resistant as well as melt resistant up to 425 degrees, keeping most braking systems lubricated throughout their operating range. It's also designed to help dampen vibrations in all parts of your braking system, not to simply stop the back of the pad from moving like some others. One note of caution, though SIL Glide also sells a lubricant in a near-identical package that's not for brake use, so make sure to grab the right one to put in your cart and off of your workbench. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Super Lube Silicone Lubricating Brake Grease. Cinco Super Lube Brake Grease contains syncolin, a proprietary compound that's designed to avoid hardening, drying out, or melting when it's applied to your braking system's key parts. It's made from silicone and works to keep your brake pads from vibrating as well as lubricating the other parts of your braking system that need to keep sliding. Unusually for an auto parts lubricant, Super Lube is also NSF approved as a food safe lubricant that can be used in cases of incidental food contact. It's also listed on the manufacturer's website as being kosher with certificates for both. Neither of those likely matters to your brakes, but if you're working with cars, you know that sometimes these things get in places you don't want them, like in your mouth. And in that case, knowing it's NSF cleared is quite reassuring. It probably still won't taste great, but that's not the point. That's all for today. 
We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.